Hello, in this video we will explore a interesting module. Uh, this is a GPS module that I got online from uh, a website uh, for about 1400 rupees. Uh, and the model of this uh, GPS module is Neo M8N. So this module comes along with this uh, kind of uh, ceramic antenna and uh, it comes without this header pin so I have to kind of solder uh, the pins myself. And this being interfaced to a UART, uh, USB UART uh, uh, module. Uh, now the connections uh, between uh, UART and uh, the GPS are quite straightforward. Is the table depicting them? So uh, UART 3.3 uh, volt goes to the VCC of GPS, ground to ground. TX of UART goes to RX of GPS. RX of UART goes to TX of GPS. So mainly we'll be consuming the data that uh, is being kind of uh, transmitted out of uh, the TX pin of GPS and is it, it's being received on the uh, kind of RX pin of UART module. With that, we'll directly jump to the software part. Before that, okay, you might see this green LED kind of uh, blinking off. That means the satellites are kind of, kind of currently being locked and uh, GPS module is kind of able to get the position of, I um, mean, the coordinates and other details of out of the satellites, yeah. So with that, we'll jump to the software part. Now we'll jump to the software implementation uh, uh, for this module. So before uh, you start your code, you need to know that to which uh, USB port or the serial port uh, uh, your UART module is connected to. So to know that, you just issue the message command and you will see that uh, the module is sitting on uh, TTY USB 0 uh, port. Uh, this is the port we'll be using for uh, kind of uh, reading the data. So uh, here goes the code. So I'll be using just these two modules, uh, serial and date time. This is the function to convert uh, decimal values into uh, degrees. Yeah, this is required because uh, the raw data that comes out of uh, uh, the GPS module is in decimals for latitude, latitude and longitude. We need to convert that to degrees before we consume the data for mapping purposes. Baud rate must be set to 9600. This is in line with the specifications on the data sheet of the module. And this module uh, does supports uh, GPS, GLONASS, Baidu, uh, Galileo. These four uh, kind of uh, uh, systems, uh, positioning systems. And uh, uh, this is stuff is kind of quite straightforward. I mean, reading the data from serial port, then kind of uh, just printing the raw data. First, let's see the, how the raw data looks like. So the raw data is just kind of a, a sequence of byte strings here. Yeah? So these are called NMEA sentences, by the way. So these are all NMEA sentences, and each has kind of a, its own uh, uh, format. So I have uh, used two sentences out of this because my objective was to extract uh, date, time, altitude, la latitude, and longitude. So, uh, so these are the total sentences I'm getting out of uh, this module and I'm using GNRMC and GNGGA sentence. So uh, GNRMC is having a date and time both. However, this sentence just has a, day, a time actually in UTC. So both are having times in UTC by the way. So now let's see, uh, let's go back to the code. Uh, Okay, so let me, I mean, first I'll convert this uh, byte string into, uh, uh, I'll decode it into UTF-8. Uh, now after decoding to the UTF-8, it looks like much cleaner. So as you can see here, this looks much cleaner. And uh, now it's easy to pass. Now we have will we'll split it by comma and then prepare a kind of a list of this uh, message, this sentence, yeah. So here it is uh, being split it, wait a second. Just comment out a couple of extra lines here. Uh, GPS data. <laughs> yeah. So here I'm splitting it into uh, kind of a list. Yeah. And uh, after splitting the list, obviously it will kind of uh, become a list. So it looks like somewhat this. So you can easily extract. Uh, position uh, I mean the attributes uh, based on the uh, fixed positions for example at uh, 0th position you have the sentence name and basically the header and then subsequent uh, fields are having 
some are having coordinates some are having number of satellites altitude squad i mean uh, speed and so also there so we'll go further in this thing so i'll just comment out uh, this part as well so now uh, i'm looking for these two sentences one first for um, gnrmc uh, and uh, uh, here i'm extracting the time so uh, time is positioned at uh, uh, kind of a first uh, field i mean uh, of this uh, list and uh, then i'm extracting like hour minute second out of this thing yeah same way i'm extracting a uh, day a month and year now the year is available in yy format it's not available in kind of yyyy format yeah so that's something uh, i mean weird to me but okay now i'm just formatting a kind of a, a, a time string uh, with this uh, kind of a format statement and then consume uh, then converting this to this string uh, this date time uh, string to kind of uh, a time time object okay with this function yeah and uh, speed is also available at the seventh position of this sentence so i'm just converting it it is it's available in kind of nautical uh, uh, miles i believe so i mean i have to convert that into kmph by, by, by multiplying it uh, with 1.852 yeah and here is kind of the final message that's been composed and uh, we'll just print uh, the message to show that how it looks like okay before that maybe i'll just explain the next one also so g and g g is sentence now this i'm using to get latitude longitude and altitude so latitude is positioned at uh, second uh, 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 item uh, in the list and uh, longitude is at uh, uh, the fourth position altitude is at, at the ninth position number of satellites it is at the seventh position so this is uh, something i've uh, kind of uh, put up in a small document uh, just for my reference so seventh is your speed in nautical miles knots uh, nine and uh, mm, ninth is your dates uh, and uh, first one is your kind of a uh, time uh, i'm now going back to the code so now uh, and then after getting all this uh, fields i'm just kind of uh, uh, preparing uh, the, the 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 url for google earth for uh, open street and for uh, maps application in gnome yeah so i'll just print it and then we'll consume it uh, on respective applications yeah okay so okay here i think the sum of the satellites are lost so it's good intermediate is, is losing losing the satellites yeah so uh, here's the data so i'll just uh, stop it and then we'll try to consume some of these yeah so uh, let's take uh, uh, maybe first uh, geo uh, this is your kind of a, a local maps application available in uh, Debian I mean any 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 gnome desktop actually so we'll just uh, paste it here and it will launch the maps application and take us to the uh, rings in the map so so it just takes me to the uh, position where I am right now it's quite accurate it's pretty much it's very accurate yes I think in my I think it's less than five meters I could say it is less than five meters yeah now I'll take uh, uh, the open street map link and go back to the browser and uh, paste it over here yeah so again yeah it's, it's not marking the center but okay somewhere here i mean uh it's wait to um, um, here yeah so now we'll just launch uh, the google earth web uh to see that position in google earth but today it will this take some time yeah so just bear with me in the meantime i'll just show you the images i mean how i did soldered this thing so i got a kind of a four pin uh, uh, kind of mail header mail header pins and then mounted them on a breadboard and then placed uh, this gps module on that and then uh, soldered it uh, while it was mounted on the board so this actually kind of uh, uh, did the job kind of uh, somewhat easy 
uh, so that's how I did solder it. I'm not an experienced soldering person, so uh, it's just kind of uh, sort of like no voice job here. Yeah. So uh, and this is how the module is connected. Uh, some close-ups of uh, UART module and GPS module. I think by the time uh, maps are also now open. So, yeah, so I have to zoom out a bit uh, to see uh, where I am. So I'm sort of zooming out. Yeah, so this is what it is. Yeah, so it's having uh, the satellite image of this thing. So that's how this GPS module works, and uh, it gives you kind of quite a lot of information. Now, uh, the sen a number of sentences I've not explored. What are these? Maybe they have some more info, more useful information. Uh, maybe I'll try them later. So right now just these with these two kind of sentences i'm able to get latitude longitude altitude speed date and time in utc so i think uh, uh, we can we can i can i can use this uh, date and time information particularly to build a kind of uh, a accurate uh, in-house ntp server which can then sync up time in at my at least in my uh, home computers and and, and and mobiles via dscp so that is something i'll try later yeah so I think you must have found it useful. Thanks, thanks for watching. Yeah.